Wait, let's not change that. So we're going to take the answer and we're going to do a check to see if the answer e dot equals t for true. Sorry, that should not be the symbol I use. What am I doing? What's going on here? Or answer dot equals, and of course the other option would be y, because they may choose yes. Or, oh, there I go with that symbol again. Or answer dot equals the actual word yes in uppercase All right, in the interest of time, let me just uh, get this code copied in. I want to save all that typing. Oops, sorry about that. As long as you get the general idea of what we're actually doing here, we're just checking for the multiple cases of whether it's going to be T for the answer, um, you know, true or false. But it's possible that they could answer in other ways. Let's just um, fix the formatting of our code. All right, there we go. All right, uh, there's an error here we need to fix. All right, and just 
just skip the code formatted properly. All right. So after we've uh, made sure that our check method is in, let's um, see what. We are missing here. All right, so it, uh, it, it takes all of these options here as we see we saw before. Uh, please enter true or false, convert any valid answer. So we did that. Check to uppercase. And correct answer strings inherited from question. All right, so we're making sure that uh, we did the inheritance. The inheritance is going to be done by using the super keyword, all right? So in my case, I'm choosing to use the super keyword. So here's where this is done, all right? Let me just put a comment here for that, all right? So inheritance from the Question super class. That's what's been done here. So here is a constructor being called. It's a new constructor with a question and string answer. And super dot question is taking this from the question class. So that's why we have the super keyword there. All right. And this will check to see that it's equal to T, true, false. All right. So uh, we have pretty much the full inheritance they're taking care of right now. It's also important for you to understand why we use super there, right? Super is the way that we're going to inherit the functionality that true false question takes by extending the question class, all right? That's why you extend it. Extend it means you take all of the characteristics from the parent. All right, so I think we would have covered all of those requirements. Let us just check once more. All right, so here is where you could use um, super.question or this. All right, so we chose to use super. All right, so now to add true or false questions to our quiz. All right, so that should be the final part of what we need to do here. So let's go over to our quiz class. It's called me not Java for the replit, but if you're using Eclipse, you're going to name it as quiz. And we're going to be running it as main here just so that replit will allow it to work. So I'll need to change this to main just for the purpose of replit, but you will keep it as quiz on your Eclipse ID. And Here's where we're going to modify the program here because we're being told here that we're going to add a true and false question to our quiz. All right. So this is how we initialize the question constructor. It's going to be new true or false question. Only accepts valid answers. It responds appropriately to correct and correct answers. Add at least five, at least four more true or false questions for a total of five. And then we test our program. All right, so. Let's add this true or false question to our quiz. I'm just going to add one of them to the quiz, and then uh, you could always, um, you know, add addi the additional ones using the same method. All right, so uh, let's um, let's add it here. All right, so we're going to create an object of type question. It's going to be a new true or false question. 
because that's the object that we're creating. And then it's going to take its constructor that has the question and the answer, which is going to be Y or N. So uh, let me ask a question like, um, are you hungry right now? All right, so that's the question I'm going to be taking. So that's one parameter. It actually takes two. If you remember, the constructor takes two parameters. So we need a comma and then a quotation. And I'll say Y for yes. Okay. So that's one question that I created. One true or false question that I created. So duplicate local variable. Um, question um, let me call it T or F question for true or false uh, that, that's a little confusing let me uh, true or false question All right, so let me see if everything looks good there. All right, so of course we need to do a check on it as well. So let me make sure that I have the check done after we ask the question. So true, false question. True or false question dot check. All right. And because this is all being inherited from the class that we have true or false question just to review it before we run it to make sure we understand this as you can see here uh, the constructor takes two arguments the string question and the answer all right let's test it out now and see what we get I remember because I'm using Replit, you'll see my class called main here but you'll change it back to quiz if you're using Replit and send the files as your um, answer but for testing purposes just call it main and after you run it then you'll rename it as quiz before you send it to your instructor all right so let's go ahead and run the program all right so we have an error to fix um, let's check this out here in true false question we need to check that Oh, we had an extra curly brace there. All right, so got rid of that. All right, it's compiling. All right, so let's um, just go ahead and just answer some of these. Let me try to get one of these correct. Uh-huh, got that one correct. I'll just make the others incorrect. All 
All right, and now we have our true or false questions, of course. You would capture your screenshot at this point. Are you hungry right now? Let me say yes. All right, and it does ask the question. Now, I need to check on the true or false class. I need to check on something there because I don't remember if I saw the results that I was looking for. So that is something I want to check. All right, so we're supposed to have uh, show results. Oh, I don't think I had the show results that was called. Yeah, so let me see here. Yeah, show result should have been the last method called after all the questions were asked. So, since this is technically the last one, then it would be true or false question dot show results all right so let's run this again let me choose Answer there, so I got that correct. I'm going to make the rest of the multiple choice incorrect until we get to the true and false. I didn't enter a valid answer there, so it's going to loop. All right, oops, forgot to answer that. And let me make this one incorrect as well. Got one correct out of five questions, and now it's going to give me the true or false. I'll see why. Okay, correct. I got two out of six questions, so I don't want it to be displayed twice, so I should probably have it not say the show results. I think the show results right. So this line here, I could probably just take this one out. All right, and just have it just show results one time. All right, so that's one way you could do it. All right, so have fun modifying your program and all the best with this assignment.